Yo Joe and welcome to another video of TV's Customs. Today I want to show you how I weathered this sewer pipe. First I painted the pipe in typhus corrosion, which is a technical paint. And now I'm going to apply a nice layer of Morn Fang Brown, which I have to shake first of course. That's better. I don't paint the entire surface in Morn Fang Brown, but I focus the color a bit, so you get this spotted look. And I try to make it look random, so all those times that I painted camouflage patterns really pay off now. For some variety in the look, I provide some areas with a second coat of Mornfang Brown. And again, I try to be as random as possible. Next, I mix in some Fire Dragon Bright, which is a very bright color of orange, as the name suggests. And I cover some of the Mornfang Brown areas with this new mix. Again, randomness is what I strive for. The ridges on the sewer pipe would collect more water than other places, so it would be logical to think that these ridges would erode more. So they get an extra layer of the mix, followed by some pure Fire Dragon Bright. And then I put some pure Fire Dragon Bright on other spots on the sewer pipe. The weathering starts to look good now. And all I have to do now is touching up my previous work just by any color I seem fit. Some places need some more orange, some places need some more brown, some places need some more mix. Just do whatever feels right and make it beautiful. You could call it done now. But I just want to give it a little bit more, a little extra. So I take out my lead belcher and I'm going to stipple it as random as I can. You might have noticed that I use the same brush for everything I do. That's because I really like these brushes. They're made by Hog Miniatures and they're pretty cheap. So if I ruin one once in a while, meh really doesn't matter that much. I went a bit overboard on the lead belcher, but that doesn't matter. I can fix that later. Whatever screwed up with paint can be fixed with paint, right? Next step is some Agrax Earthshade on the metal parts to create a nice transition between rust and metal. And this is how it looks now. Time to let it fully dry and return to this paint job tomorrow. I'm not quite happy with the metal parts. I still think it's a bit too, too much. So to further the transition between metal and rust, I just touch it up with every color I seem fit. Some Mornfang Brown, some Mix, some Fire Dragon Bright, some Earthshade. Just, I use everything to make it look good. And there you have it, one heavy weathered sewer pipe. Combined with the weathered power armor, this base is starting to look great. That stuff's been there for quite a while. Now all I have to do is paint all the gooey stuff on the bottom, which I'll be showing in the next video. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe. Bye bye Joes, bye bye.